we'll be, we'll be short. I can do that. We'll be starting shortly. We're working on getting the video and the audio. Oh, good. Yay. <laughs> We'll call to order the October 23rd Planning Commission meeting to order. Will you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance?
uh, your goal of, of making it easier to comprehend would make it even better. Well, and part of the reason I don't come on here um, for uh, an agenda uh, item to, you know, for the amendments where we're denying them or anything like that, to, to completely close that out is because uh, we do want to revisit this and we're going to use all the progress that we've made so far. We're not going to, when I say start completely from scratch, I mean as far as notifying the public and that sort of thing. Um, we're not going to throw out everything we've done so far and start completely over. Has this been discussed with the stakeholders that were in those meetings? No, not yet. I think it was very important that we had their buy-in at that time, and now we're basically saying we're not going to go forward. So I think that's disheartening. I agree. I know you didn't have the opinion. Was there a reason stated why we're putting this on hold? Um, what I got was an email, so I saw them a conversation. sooner rather than later. Um, I understand put it on the shelf for a few months, but I don't think this should sit there very long. I agree completely. So Amy, will this be something you can get on a future, maybe agenda for a work session? I can keep thinking. Yeah, um, we have not adopted the 2013 calendar yet. Um, I'm not sure what the, the timeline for hiring with the new director will be, um, but I was hoping that perhaps they might be here before our next meeting, in which case, um, you know, they could have some input in the calendar. We also have a unusual situation with the way January falls, um, where our council meeting uh, and our planning commission meeting are going to fall on the same night. So I haven't figured out quite uh, how to address that one yet. There's some other interesting scheduling issues for the next year. So. Um, 
need to look at that a little closer. I wasn't able to get that done before tonight. Will that cost staffing conflicts for you? Someone has to be in both meetings, or will we have them? We have it in the past. That's we what I need to investigate to see if, if that's something that will be an issue or not. Because, um, you know, like I said, if we don't have a new director by the January meeting, then it could wind up that I need to be in both meetings at the same time. And actually, January, we have five.
side line study will show you and us that we can't see the rooftop units from the right away. Okay. Amy, are, are you are we prepared or is the I guess the staff are prepared to discuss the there was the talk the talk about the streets or the parking lot where the church agreed to build the street, but they wanted to do it more on like phase four, but we think that it needs to be phase two. And how, are we prepared to talk about any of that? Or how, how much of the deal breaker is that? Does it have to be phase two? Could it be phase four? I, I think that's something that we'll probably pull off into the next meeting to get into detail on. Okay. Um, because we have some more uh, conversations that need to take place between staff and the applicant. Is your presentation going to, when it comes up, is it going to uh, point out the alignment changes that you requested for the entrance? Um, no, it's not specifically uh, drawn into the presentation, uh, but the, you're talking about for the driveway? You mentioned that the driveway as shown is not uh, sufficient for the uh, ladder truck. Yes, let me see if I can get that pulled up so that we can show you on the screen. Yeah, your alternate okay. alignment is what I'm interested to see. Yeah, the, the alternate alignment, um, well, the driveway would extend farther to the north from Santa Fe Street and go in on the north side of the parking lot, the northwest uh, part, the, uh, from what staff was recommending. Um, but the radius is something that we'll need to be looked at to accommodate the fire truck. The radius of your alternate alignment? Well, the, the radius of any alignment to get in there, we'll just need to make sure that there's access for fire truck. Okay. But yeah, the, the current one is the one that we noted was not sufficient. That? We don't have a, a drawing yet of the recommended alternative, but presumably we would be able to get a, a sufficient radius. Could you get a sufficient radius with the, the proposed alignment? Is it even possible? Well, the one that they're showing is the furthest of short. Um, it would impact the way, and I'm not the, the traffic engineer, but I would imagine that would impact the <coughs> intersection of that driveway with Santa Fe Street. So you'll want more stacking and you want to make sure that it comes in at a 90 degree angle. But that's another one that we haven't really sufficiently um, discussed with the applicant. Yeah, so. so are we going to get together again uh, to bring those alternate alignments, draft it up so we can see overlay with the site plan? Yeah, I mean, potentially the applicant may, well, change. the changes are already made, and right. if not, then we'll certainly have that drawn out for Right. If you guys already come to an agreement on it, that's great. Otherwise, uh, yeah. just bring it so we can kind of overlay and make a good. We really never discussed 175th Street. I think it's been a long time. Is that ever going to get widened or have shoulders? Or is there anything in the future for that? Because I've never seen anything like that at the Capital Improvement Plan. Um, I'm just curious. Well, not near enough term that uh, it would be in the CFP, I don't believe. Uh, the 56th quarter plan. Um, did show it, I believe, as a four lane. Four lane divided roadway right. uh, as all arterials in the city are removed. Uh, that being said, the buildings on the north to south side are 120 feet apart, <coughs> and that type of road would require 120 feet of right of way. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't want to go wall to wall with the right of way. So, um, as far as if or how that gets accomplished, that's not known. And that's one of the reasons why I was asking for the corridor study. Right. That's kind of happened with all of that in there. So it's going to be Pardon me. 
pardon my uh, lack of knowledge on the study on the Portal plan because I was uh, I attended several of the meetings and was had quite a bit of interest in it early on, but I haven't seen any communication from KDOT or anybody about this corridor plan in a very long time, and I've been waiting to see if something is finalized or uh, how how they're proceeding with this. Because I haven't heard. I, I've seen some alternate plans, some of them which bother me a great deal. Uh, the way, but I haven't seen anything. The way I understand KDOT has, I, as you know, I'm part of, um, I'm part of the uh, Southwest Johnson County um, Land Use Management Task Force. So we're going through and with everybody as a city gardener, city gardeners in Olathe County, um, looking at the future of Southwest Johnson County with, with the intermodal. Some of the plans that I've seen is that Highway 56 gets realigned to the new intersection, new interchange. It's a possibility that that's going to happen. So Highway 56 will go from there and go straight through to the new interchange and then on I-35. Um, that was the latest that I've seen. Now whether that's actually approved or not um, still remains to be seen because it's still part of this whole development. Um, they released the 2012 aerial photos yesterday on the same um, 
for anyone who wants to look at such. So this was taken earlier this year, showing it uh, currently vacant, uh, surrounded by uh, housing on the west of the east. And looking at the site plan, <coughs> Uh, the driveway that we were discussing having that string up here for that first phase and then there's a debate as to what phase the future poplar street would be but eventually it would take over and then that would just intersect directly with the poplar street that's another reason for not wanting it here because it's just a the farmhouse so if it came out here that would be um, then the stormwater extension basin, uh, there's a question about the phasing for that. Um, the top water extension would be out there. Uh, and then the water line leads along the Santa Fe Street. Um, and so those are the reasons for the continuing fragmentation. And these are the elevations that were presented. Hey, um, uh, make sure I say it right. The uh, it's stucco covered metal panels uh, in a light brown and um, brown. So they've got the two different colors to help break up vertically of the facade. They have the fabric awning on the front, which would face south, and then they've uh, used landscaping to try to address. Um, some of the white surfaces around the, the exterior and the other side. And since the applicant agreed to the continuance, uh, like I said, we'll try to keep our discussion to a minimum. Um, and then we'll uh, meet with the applicant later this week or sometime next week to try to come to an agreement on the outstanding items. Uh, so that's why we recommend continuing to November 27th. Anybody have any further discussion? Um, yeah, I, just as a guidance, I guess, for the applicant, um, one of the concerns that's always coming up with the planning commission, commission is uh, uh, pedestrian access. And just so that you have a heads up, the, um, the west edge Property proposed. I didn't see a sidewalk on there. I did on the south side, um, but I didn't see one along the. I guess it'd be the east edge of Poplar, east side of Poplar, uh, along the property, and that will probably come up when we talk about this again. So I didn't want to uh, surprise you with that. driving along and realize that's part of the crosswalk. Um, so that they're not hurrying through at that point. You'll, you'll notice that at, at shopping centers and things where people walk across the, the driveway and they'll change the texture slightly or paint or something so that the drivers understand people can be walking there. So as, as it connects, there's, there's two seconds, segments there walk through the drive uh, the driveway. So that would be something that I would just uh, put out there. Um, other than that, I, I really thought that the plan was really good. Just to follow up to your first comment um, about connections to Poplar Street or um, this would be a good opportunity here, I think, because we've got the, the street coming in and then there's actually a break Parking spaces, uh, but really all we're approving with this 
particular site plan phase one, it's possible that when they come in for phase two, they could have a different idea of what they want to do at that point. Um, you know, most likely they would be following a plan, which is why we've got it shown here, um, but just understand the conceptual of design. Understand that. We've got the layout for, for a potential uh, uh, possible concept of what might become reality someday, maybe. That's conditional enough. Uh, and so I would like to see conditionally, maybe someday, to possibly have sidewalks on the east side of the park. <coughs> Okay, a motion was made by Commissioner Cobb to continue the site plan for First Light Church SC12-06 to the November 27, 2012 meeting and was seconded by Commissioner Copeland. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nay. Motion passes. Four to zero. on some additional um, applications coming up or have you gotten any? Um, the only new one that we received for the November meeting is the Mother's Storage Building Starter Energy um, on their other property. And um, that should be all besides their should start continuing uh, the first line. Um, and then just to let everyone know the uh, plots for spread specialties and quick trips Thank you. 